Guys, I'm afraid the time has come. Um, Bill and Steve, uh, we're gonna have to get rid of them. Uh, so I'm re I'm really sorry, but we we just don't need them anymore. So <laughs> you're gonna have to get rid of them. Okay, but we're moving on to bigger, better things now. We're gonna be setting up a custom font. Like how how cool? We don't need Bill and Steve. We have our fonts. So public static bitmap font font. I just realized I don't have a font yet. Let's go into C, Windows, Fonts. Hmm, what font? I'll go with my favorite font, Roboto. Then, copy and paste that into extra crap. Rename this to font, copy, and we'll paste it into our assets. Awesome, so I'm literally just going to load this. So free type font generator gen equals new free type font generator gdx dot files dot internal fonts dot ttf. All right, so we're gonna need to import these. Huh? These classes don't exist. Why? Why? Yeah. These classes don't actually exist. Why is that? We need the extension, so I'm just gonna teach you how to do that. So go into your my game folder, go into libraries, go into libgdx, go into extensions, and then you're gonna go into free type, okay? And here is how you set it up. Here in the my game you see we have a libs folder. Copy and paste gdx free type and gdx free type natives not jar into there. Alt enter build path libraries add external jars go to my game libs and then go and type go and find the free types uh yeah that's all okay we're gonna go back into that actually check it there uh that should be okay yeah all right awesome so now we got the errors out of the way it it still won't work uh we still need to do some other bollocks um so I'm gonna go get uh, GDX free type, GDX free type natives, and we're gonna pop them into the desktop libs. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I believe we get both. I think we get both here. Don't take any of these. Uh, and Android. Uh, I, do we get both here? No, we only get the one here. All right. So that's it's that one. Uh, Alt Center. Libraries. Excellent jars. Go and see Android one. Libs. Order export. All right, uh, Android. We need to do one more thing. Sorry. Copy that over. Yep. And copy this over. Now that we got that out of the way, we can actually get back to our code. So font equals gen dot generate font. Uh, we're gonna set it to two hundred fifty-six. It's gonna be our size. Font we can uh, we're gonna have to get region dot get texture whoops I can't spell dot set filter texture filter linear texture filter linear all right we can even set a color why don't we set a color color and you can even get a hex value. Like that, that just made my day. So I've got this like kind of like grayish color. Actually, that won't work. We've got like a gray background, haven't we? Why don't we just make our background black? For, you know, just we'll make our background black for the day. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, 
where are we? Assets. Okay, we can. Um, we're even. We're gonna set the scale. Uh, we're gonna flip it basically. So one minus one. That's gonna flip it. Awesome. So now we just. Ah, I've still got this here. Bye. Pause. We don't need you. Uh, assets. Dot font. Dot. Batch. Here's the string that we're gonna put, and we're gonna put yo, because we've got swag. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't notice, I was taking the piss, by the way. So, not. Uh, we run that. Yo, why did it take that long to appear? <laughs> yeah, we got it working, yeah, but why did it take that long to appear? That's what I don't know. Is it, is it the recording or what? Let's try that again. Yo, it's faster, but why? What the fuck? All right. Well, it happened. Okay. Uh, uh, that's that's the main point. It happened. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm fantastically brilliant day. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.